Okay, so here we are with my favourite flavour other than the last one you just made, which is peppermint. Peppermint, yeah. Yay! So this is, uh, we've got all the ingredients out in front of us. What we've got to do first is um, put the sugar in and with the milk, and what's going to happen is that the milk's going to break down the sugar granules, so it's just smooth. Oh. So really, really simple. Okay. Right, so now we just have to attach the whisk to the mixer, and then as I said, break down those granules so it's all smooth. Rightio, so that's all done. Uh, we can literally now start adding the other greens. Lift this up and take this off so it doesn't get in the way. So the first step is adding the cream, and then we'll add the actual main flavours to the actual ice cream. So now the cream's in, we're going to add the vanilla extract, along with the peppermint extract. So now most of the ingredients are in, we just need to combine that all together and then put it in the actual ice cream machine. Right, yeah, so that's all it needs. Um, we're just going to remove this all uh -huh. and pour it into the machine. Then we add uh, the crunch part of it at a, about the 20 minute mark. It takes 25 minutes to do all of it. Yep. 20 minute mark, it'll just, it won't break it down and it'll stay as a nice texture. Fantastic, it's, it, you're right, it's deadly simple. Exactly, mm. yep, very, very easy. Now Simon, this yep. is peppermint ice cream, but it's not Shrek green. No, no it's not, but you know exactly what's going in there. You're not going to be putting any more extra additives. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's all wholesome. And, Which is uh, really important with you if you've got children and people coming exactly. over and you don't know if they're allergic to things and what exactly. have you. So yeah, you can keep it as healthy as you like, or you can be a bit naughty and have some chocolate in there. So yeah. all up to you. Let's go for option B. You want? <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, not to worry. <laughs> And how long does it stay on for? Yep, being a two litre capacity, it's going to have to stay on for 25 minutes. Uh, the liquids go in now, obviously, and then you add the texture in the last five minutes. Excellent. So that's just a bashed up peppermint crisp? Yep, you can use pretty much any chocolate bar you want. Cherry ripe's good, or even Oreo cookies. Maltesers? Maltesers, yeah, brilliant, right. brilliant idea. Yeah. The moment of truth. Yep, it's had its 25 minutes, so it will still be at that soft sort of stage, yep. but all you have to do is put it in an airtight container, two litre capacity, so a two litre container, put it in the freezer for an extra hour so you can get beautiful scoops or quenelles. Fantastic. Sure thing. So let's have a look. And there you go. Gosh, it looks fantastic, doesn't yep, it? Yeah, it tastes even better. Well, can I have a taste? Yes, certainly. Do you want the whole spoon? Of course. Ah. <laughs> I'll do a Nigella. <laughs> oh, died and gone to heaven. Better than the sorbet? Mm, mm. Oh, oh, oh no, deciding still. Different. That's like saying, can you choose between your children? Oh, of course you can't. Of course you can't. They're both fantastic. Excellent. Good to hear. Yum. Thank you, Simon. You're very welcome. <laughs> we also do have another model. It is a 1.5 litre. We've been using the 2 litre. Yep. And they do actually come in a whole range of colours. Gosh, they're, and they're so funky, aren't they? Great for summer. Yeah, really brighten up your kitchen. And exactly, it makes it more fun to make your ice cream. Love it.